In this video, I'll be showing you how you can apply temporary overlays on top of your thumbnails on YouTube videos using TubeBuddy. So let's just get straight on into it, shall we? I'll uh, come over into my YouTube studio. Here we are. Uh, and then this is part of the bulk and miscellaneous tools that appears in your content channel content list. Uh, we've got the uh, TubeBuddy bulk and miscellaneous tools. So just click on this here and then you can see here thumbnail overlays. Once you click on that, the interface is pretty simple, really. Uh, you can either add the overlay or remove it. So we're going to click on add overlay. Uh, you've got the choice here to either upload an image from your computer or you can actually enter a URL. So if you've got the image somewhere else, you can just load it directly from there. Uh, the image size it mentions is either 1280 by 720 or 1920 by 1080. So I'm going to click on this one, upload image from the computer. I'll choose uh, a file, choose click on choose file rather. Uh, and then I have got an image somewhere here. If I come into my thumbnails, uh, this thumbnail overlay. Now the one example I'm using here is, let's just say on all of my Ecamm Live uh, videos on my channel, uh, I have got my Ecamm Live masterclass out. And for the first month it was live, I had a 25% discount offer on it. So it might have been something that I wanted to highlight on all of my thumbnails. So I've got a, a thumbnail here or an overlay rather, which is basically transparent except this part at the bottom, which I would then overlay onto the top of all of my other thumbnails. If, for example, I wanted to highlight this point to people. Uh, obviously, you can think for yourself as to why you might want to do this. Lots of other particular use cases, maybe highlighting an event coming up or something like that, and you just want it to display on all of the thumbnails. So click on open. It will then just load that uh, that template in. Uh, and then if I come over to here, I've just noticed I'm a little bit zoomed out. So let me try and just adjust the zoom. <laughs> there we go. Now, if I click on continue, uh, what I can do here is I can do a number of different things. In fact, I can either um, apply it to um, my most recent videos. Um, you can also uh, then see a list of videos. So if I click on that one, it would pull up my most recent 50 and then I can choose which ones that I want to apply it to. Um, or if if you've got a list of specific video IDs that you want to put it on, then you can also uh, do that. So you just paste in a list of the video IDs uh, with separated by a comma. It does give you a little example there. So like just the uh, comma separated list. Um, or the other thing is uh, all videos within one of your playlists. So I could choose my Ecamm Live playlist, for example. Um, and then you've also got show a list of videos that match a search phrase. So if you want to just pull up a list of specific videos, just like you can search for your own videos in your YouTube channel, uh, in the YouTube studio rather, you can just en enter a phrase here and it will pull up a list of the videos. So let's just say I was to go to here and click on my Ecamm Live uh, list just let me find out where that is <laughs> so uh, here it is this one so let's say I want to apply it to that list uh, and then if I click on continue uh, then it says uh, what videos do you want to apply this overlay to so it does just ch check them all to begin with and you can see there is a little uh, indication of what it's going to look like there so on each of the thumbnails it shows you how it's going to look so obviously you can if you've got a particular thumbnail style you can decide how that's going to work but that would then if I clicked on the continue button I'm not going to do that because <laughs> I don't want to suddenly apply this discount to all my videos but you can see uh, it's quite a lot of videos there actually aren't there over a hundred now of Ecom live videos so if you were to uh, go through my uh, my channel you would notice uh, if I had applied that that they would all have this special offer on them so I'll just click on continue uh, and that would be that done so that overlay would then be applied to all of my videos obviously at some point you may want to then remove this from your thumbnails so all you would do then is just come into here back into the bulk and miscellaneous tools uh, and then click on whoops daisy to uh, trigger happy there <laughs> click on the thumbnail overlays once again uh, but this time you'd click on remove overlays click continue uh, and then you would go through and pick the videos that you wanted to remove the overlay from and it would just remove any overlays that you had applied with this particular tool so it is a really great way to uh, actually update update your uh, your videos and uh, change up the thumbnails. Now there's another reason why you may want to change up your thumbnails more on a permanent basis perhaps rather than a temporary basis and that is if there is some opportunity there to improve the click-through rate. I mean that's what thumbnails are for. They're for uh, you know getting people to click on your your videos at the end of the day. Uh, so how do you actually find out though what are suitable candidates for you know adjusting the thumbnails or trying to make improvements to your videos? Well TubeBuddy He's got another great tool which is called the uh, click through CTA click through analysis tool <laughs> which basically can tell you which videos have been getting really high engagement um, once people have got on them however there has not been a great click through rate and it's a great tool and it's really quite simple to use and I talk all about it in this video that's coming up right now so I'll see you in that video